Hello guys, <coughs> peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. We are back to talk about Muhammad because he is our entertainment. This man, he never, like, his filth is unlimited. You know, we did say before, we, we told you, I don't know if you all of you, you, you keep watching my videos or Muhammad, he have sex with animals, he have sex with dead women, he have sex with Aisha, like, you know, she is a, she's a child, which means he has sex with kids. So, animals, dead women, kids, what is left? I will show you something you might not believe. First, maybe you don't know that in the Quran there is a verse about women giving themselves to, the, to Muhammad to have sex with them. They are not wives. They just want to have sex with the Prophet. Bang, bang, bing, 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 boom, man. And Muhammad, the holy God, the holy man of, of God, he is so good in that. Women, they are lined up, saying to him, Please, Prophet, can you do the F word to me? And Muhammad is working like, you know, those, those machines who open the cans. Okay? He, his duty in Islam at that time is opening women. They come to him. Excuse my, my language. This is the fact. They open their legs and he bang, bang. He never say no. This guy is always horny, always ready. Let us see. So this is a verse in the Quran, because maybe, maybe some people will say, this is not true, the Quran never said that women, they give themselves to the Prophet. And you will see him, he choose right away to, do ba to bang them, and some of them, he tell them, let us do it later. I will do it later, you know? Okay. So this is Surah 33, verse 51, but I'm not going to talk about this one now. I will go back to show you the disaster we will see in here, because the topic is not women giving themselves to Muhammad because this is old news but we will talk about it in the, in the video about this verse in the Quran but what we will talk about in here is something disgusting let us read first what the hadith is saying <clears throat> this woman her, her name Khawla bintu Hakim she gave herself to the Prophet to bang her she want him to do the F word to her okay so she came to him and she said to him Prophet can you bang me? Can you take me? Take me, take me, take me, baby. You know, and just, just seeing women doing that to that man, it strains us how filthy and how low class he is. Why? Because uh, if they do not know that's Muhammad, he would love to do that to them. They will never come and ask for it. And even there is a verse in the Quran about that. We will talk about that verse later. So, just to mentioning, like just, just thinking about that, and knowing that Muhammad, he will never say to women, horny women, no, telling us who is Muhammad. I think this is very clear. But what we will see in here is a lot more than this. But before we go, and show you the surprise. This woman, she is coming to the Prophet, peace upon him. Please, always guys, we have to say peace upon him. Don't, don't offend Muslims, otherwise they will go in the street and they will say we will kill you, okay? I don't want to offend Muslims because I'm scared of them. So, peace upon him, huh? he did uh, 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 accept that woman to bang her. And who is she? Her name is Khawla. And in here you will see Aisha, she is saying, isn't it like don't those women have a shame? to give their body to a stranger let us go to Google translation and see the translation of Google <coughs> here we go come on Google translate Google are uh, waiting okay this is a the translation they gave him Binti Hakim this is the translation. It's not very accurate, but it's okay. So, it was a gift. When to Hakim, she gave herself to the Prophet to bang her. And the Aisha, the, the, the wife of the Prophet, she is saying, Aisha, she said, either they, aren't they ashamed of those women who they are blowing themselves on a man? Which means Muhammad, she is get, getting jealous, you know. This is a jealousy of women. Long line of women, they are horny. All of them, they are Muslims. And they want Muhammad to bang them. And I wonder what, what the Muslim men, they are doing there. Like they are watching the pimp opening their women. 
like really those women who we are talking about women coming to a man saying to him we want you to sleep with us those women don't they have men don't they have family don't they have parents don't they have fathers don't they have husbands who is the man who would accept his daughter or his wife or his sister to do such a thing like this except if they are a prostitute except if all you know the only way to explain that if all the community is the community of prostitution and all the men they are pimps because no man will accept such a thing to happen no man would accept that his daughter will go to a man and say hey do the F word to me no man will accept that his wife or his his mother or his daughter who, whoever she is she go to any man and say to him I'm giving you myself take me take me take me baby and she is doing that in the front of the public as you see Aisha she is saying aren't they ashamed now the problem is not here the problem is who is Khawla the woman he she gave herself to Muhammad is the aunt of the Prophet of Islam. Oops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the book of Musnad Ahmad. This is Hadith 260050. The name of the chapter is the Hadith, which means the speech of Khawla bint Hakim. Even the chapter have her name. And just to show you that the connection between this woman and Muhammad is a sexual connection because she never she never mentioned in the hadith in anywhere in the hadith except she is talking about sexual life six either she is bringing women to Muhammad to bang them or she is asking him to bang her or she is asking him the following as the hadith is saying what the hadith is saying Khawla bint Hakim she asked the Prophet and she is one of the ants of the prophets okay let me show let me take it to Google translation and post it in there just to show you that this is the end of the Prophet because you will see even what she is asking for is filthy in the hadith before she is asking the Prophet to bang her and he did Khawla bin Hakim as Salmiya, they are translated to Salmiya as peaceful as we see one of the ants of the Prophet, you see it? peace upon him, don't forget to say peace upon him so Muslims will not get, get upset okay he asked, she, you know, he asked the Prophet, she asked the Prophet peace upon him, under Mark, okay, peace peace upon you Muhammad say it the women Tahtalim the translation is not good in here, Tahtalim actually, it's mean a woman she is Master, doing masturbation now the question here in here the translation is not correct not uh, not very clear actually I should find the hadith in English maybe Muslims can help me in a, in a video when they answer me you see because I'm sure they will do <laughs> so she is asking the Prophet do a woman need to wash when she do come if she is doing masturbation guys let us let us let us talk about it clearly if this woman is an aunt and there is no sexual life or sexual relationship between him between her and and Muhammad how a woman she dare to ask such a question like this like what kind of a question that even even what about what about asking her husband or asking if she have a husband I don't know you know because Muhammad maybe he killed him to take her <laughs> so anyway why she did not ask uh, uh, like the wife of Muhammad to ask her husband those women the Muslim women they have no shame they are whores how a woman she go to a man she say to him if I do masturbation can I do I need to wash myself what who is that woman she will go and say that aren't you ashamed like don't don't you have a shame so as you see, the first hadith saying clearly that she gave herself to the Prophet to bang her, to do the F word to her, and the other hadith saying that this is his aunt, and she is asking him about masturbation. Like Prophet, when I dream about you and you are not in here and I am horny, and I touch myself, do I need to wash? The Prophet said yes. Man, his answer is very good. <laughs> 
So we will see in here two things, more important things. That Muslim women, they have no shame. They are asking the Prophet of Islam about their masturbation. Muslim women doing masturbation. Number two, his aunt is asking the question. Number three, I showed you from the other hadith that his aunt, she did give herself to the Prophet of Islam so he can bang her. And he did. And there's a surah in the Quran about that. We will talk about it later. Muhammad is filthy. Islam is religion of shame. And horny women, go and get Muhammad. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. Amen.